Hi YouTube, how are you doing? Welcome to a video all about the Dodge Projector. This is a new evidence type that they just added in the huge new Phasmophobia update. And I wanted to show you how it looks like. How do you best get them? Um, are there any other tricks with the Dodge Projector? And I thought this would be really useful. I'm going to hop into a game where I just found a Dodge Ghost on Tanglewood. And I'm going to explain you all about it. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game. Alrighty, so here we are. Uh, I've placed two dots. Uh, well, we saw one right away. So yeah, there are dots in this room. Um, and that is, I don't know if you saw it. I'm going to stand here in the corner of the room and try to show you again. It's basically a shadowy or like a, like a white form that just runs across the dots. There, it was pretty faint there in the back, but you could see it if you saw it. I'm going to go, we're going to keep looking until we see a couple clear ones. Um, so that is kind of what you're looking for. You're looking for this person, like, very... Just there. That She saw that. That was kind of clear. Uh, run over the bed here. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in the dots itself. Basically, how dots work um, is it's kind of like a writing book. Uh, they're happening tons here. It's kind of like a writing book. I think that was a ghost man. Um, that can trigger the interaction to happen per dot projector. So you actually want to place both of the dots. They're happening tons here. You want to place both of the dots projectors in the room because it actually uh, multiplies your your chance of getting dots by two. Even if the room is super small and it doesn't even fit necessarily two dots. Okay, have I already said this patch is terrifying? Because it is. Um, <laughs> oh, it's freezing too. Well, I actually know the ghost because I found EMF. I found freezing, and this is, and we found dots, of course. So it's actually an oni. That may also explain why it's so active. But yeah, uh, continuing on about the dots. So you want to place both of them because they they make your chances or twice as likely to see dots. Um, and you can see dots with the naked eye. The only ghost for which you cannot see dots with the naked eye is a Gorio. If you want to see how it works for the Gorio, I'll link a video over in the top right. And I encountered my first Gorio, and we saw tons of dots there. So that video will show you all about the Gorio. I'm going to talk about normal ghosts. Man, it's happening. It's like literally happening all the time. If you were playing right on release, you might have noticed uh, that it was extremely hard to get this, or you might have not have even noticed how to, or like known at all how to use this. I didn't know at all how to use these until like quite a while into my session of playing because it was extremely rare. <laughs> They decided to buff the uh, likelihood of... Okay, that also showed you something. Uh, dots can happen while the ghost is doing a ghost event. I don't know if they can happen during hunts. I actually don't know. Also, Psycho said, so Psycho Hypnotic, in case you don't know, a lovely YouTuber, but he did some testing with dots, and you can actually see it really easily when you're dead. So if you have a dead teammate, it's a great way to find your dots. Um, but yeah, all in all, they're very obvious in the, like, even with the naked eye. But they're even easier to spot sometimes uh, with a photo cam, or with a video cam. So let me get a video cam. Uh, because the night vision shows you them really, really well. So if you are having trouble seeing them, or you think you're missing them, uh, I recommend taking one of these cams out. Can we even see them like this? Yes! You can see them from outside like this. That's kind of spooky. Um... So I would recommend taking in a night vision cam to look at the dots, turn off the lights. Sometimes they do... What a noisemaker, this guy. What an oni. Uh, like, this room is kind of tough to see because of the... Like, when the dots hit the wall, uh, they tend to glow very bright on the video cam. So it tends to really glow up the screen in night vision. But there you go. Two, again, happening at once. Um... As I said before, uh, placing two of them duplicate or makes it twice as likely to get them because they both count as like an interaction point of the ghost. It is, I mean, I hope this, <laughs> like there's so much of it. I can't comment on every single dot. Um, I just really wanted to show you how it looks like because I know a lot of people had trouble trouble with it when it started, when we started out, uh, when the patch just came out, me included, was extremely hard to get. They buffed it. They did say in the content creator section that they kind of over buffed it and that they're probably going to tune it down a little bit. So what you're seeing right here might be a little, little over the top from what it's going to be in like when they've balanced this all out. Um, because it seems to be extremely likely now, as you can see, there's like tons and tons happening. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks like if you're here. Let me get a 
tr let me place the cam over here. And then we're going to look from the truck real quick. Because you can also see them from there, of course. This is one of the... Cr this is like a super crazy active ghost. Bye, guy. I love this guy. <laughs> He's making this a little more exciting than it. I was just going to make a quick little guide, but no. This guy wants to show off. Uh, here, you can also see them. I don't have a full coverage on the entire room. Sometimes small rooms, it's easier to sit in them and just look for them. I look Well, that was a very clear one. I love dots. What do you think about dots? I think they are an amazing thing. They are really cool, really spooky. Maybe they happen a little too much now for it to be spooky enough. But again, or, or not again, but... Something very important to keep in mind is that it's an evidence tool, right? If you use a spirit box, it wouldn't be fun if the spirit box only had like a 0.2 chance of responding. Like you want to have to be able, you want to be able to get spirit box reliably, right? Same with dots. If you have the dots in the right location and the ghost is there, you want to be able to get them. So I don't think it's an issue that it happens a lot. It's not like a ghost event. You don't want it to be a rare ghost event. You want it to be a reliable evidence. Otherwise, you can't make it an evidence type like... It's actually holding the butcher knife. I thought I thought it was always the same model, but it seems to actually be a different model. Because that one was holding a butcher knife. Wow. Okay, so other things I know about dots. That was really cool. Other things I know about dots is the ghost can actually throw your dots. Now, I've only seen non-dots ghosts throw dots projectors around so they can throw them. So let me know in the comments if you've seen a, a dots ghost throw them. Because if they can't throw dots projectors if they're dots ghosts and that would be a cool a cool way to figure it out but i don't know that for sure um i've seen it happen a couple of times so they so ghosts can definitely throw dots as of now um that is nice place both of the dots in there this is how they look like really cool and now there's a very very important tip that i really want to tell you i'm going to take a pill just so i don't get hunted by this crazy guy might as well take a photo in there because he seems to be very active and i want to might as well take a photo get a cam on a tripod also um, what well, another thing that is really useful is that you can actually hear the dots happen. You can hear them happen uh, by listening to the buzzing sound of the dots projectors. And I'll I'll try to make or try to let you hear that. I'm gonna turn up the volume. Oh, it's already your max. Just turn off the breaker. Let's sit here and listen while also looking. So it, it's actually pretty hard to hear now, especially with the rain in this room. But if the room is a bit more quiet, you can hear basically the dots buzzing noise is very constant. But when a dots happen, it goes, it goes, it goes up, 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 down, up, down a couple times while the ghost is running across the screen. So that's how you can actually tell that they're happening, which is very, very useful. Okay, I'm going to shut up now for a moment and we're going to listen to it, okay? You hear that? Hello? That was a pretty clear one because it was so on top of me. So really <laughs> i love the dots so much um so uh I, the the developers uh, said that i should place them on the floor so that's what i've mostly been doing and that's how i've been getting very reliable dots ever since they buffed it uh and what is extremely useful is the sound because not only um um well sometimes they're very hard to see or sometimes they run like let's say the dots runs here through the wall because they don't seem to really care about walls then you might not be able to see them or you might be looking at something in the book and then you all of a sudden hear the rah, 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 and then you know like oh wait 
uh, I wouldn't go like immediately, oh, I know it's dots, boom. Maybe once you're really familiar with it, but I would definitely go, oh, I think I just heard a dot. Let's start paying attention. Let's look at them. Cause you should be able to find them after. Cause as you can see, they're happening tons. I really love dots. They're so cool. And I just wanted to show you how it looks like, how to best get them. You can both again, use this. Uh, it's harder in a small room, but let me show you once again that you can also see them on the video cam, but it's not required again. Um, I would definitely recommend for like larger rooms where it's not so bright with the night vision, it could be a lot more easy. Because there, you almost miss that one. It seems almost easier in smaller rooms without the night vision, but overall, if you're dealing with a larger room, it is definitely, that doesn't have so many walls close. Uh, then you can very easily see them. So yeah, I hope that helped you. I hope you know, you, you know how dots look like, how to get them. Just place your things on the floor and you should be getting them. If you have the ghost room again, very important. If the ghost is not here, uh, it's not it's not like uh, orbs where the, the orbs are bound to the ghost room. No, it's like a uh, writing book pretty much where you have to place the writing book next to the ghost and then the ghost has to decide to interact with your dots projector to give you the dots effect. So what you want to, you want to move them around. Let's say that the ghost really clearly is not in this room. I'm not getting dots and I really have a feeling that it is dots. Then you might want to move them around. You might want to place them here instead or like check which room is it. Use the EMF, use your ears to find uh, the ghost and or like temperature, uh, stuff like that to, to relocate yourself. But that's like basic Phasma stuff. Like you want to be where the ghost is. So if the ghost is moving, then you also move your tools. That's always the same. Uh, and same counts for dots projectors. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I hope that helped you. Uh, we're gonna go call this one in, look at the stats. Uh, I'm also kind of curious if you, uh, wait, wait, before we go, actually, I wanna do one thing, uh, cause that could also be useful. I wanna quickly test two things. I wanna test if you can take a photo of the, of the general area of the dots for an interaction, and if you get EMF. Let me quickly do that as well. That's a two. Let me use this one. Seems like it. Is it gonna give just a permanent two? So the real question is, can I, that just got touched, so I should not take. Okay, so now it's gone. When we see dots, yeah, I think it is giving him a, and wow, okay. Very good that I stuck around because it's throwing my dots around and it's actually threw it out of bounds. That is such a troll, what the heck? So yeah, be careful. Uh, that right there makes me think that this is not intended because that is kind of BS. Now this dots projector is legitimately untouchable because he threw it out of bounds. So I'm thinking they're prob that's probably a bug and that's gonna get fixed. But yeah, it does give EMF, which is really cool. So it gives you EMF two when the dots happen. Uh, and also non dots ghost can also throw them. Uh, let's see if we get an interaction from this. Huh? When I see a dots happen, I'm gonna take another one. Or I'm just gonna run away like a baby. Oh boy, I'm gonna make a guide on the on the hunting as well because it's absolutely terrifying. Man, this was supposed to be an easy quest. Alrighty. Yeah, make sure to turn off your flashlights because they can actually see those now and get you killed. It's pretty amazing what they've done with the hunts. I really love that. So uh, again, it seems like you can. Let me take the, let me take pills because I want to confirm one more time that you can kind of take an interaction photo of the general area, it seems, which I don't know how useful that is. I think photos are easy enough to get as it stands that you don't necessarily need to get to use like dots photos because it seems to be hard to get a, a three star unless it's from the device itself and you want to get three stars as much as possible oh. we're getting a two here and i just saw a dot so i'm gonna take a photo of i guess this area yeah i got an interaction can i see a dot can you give me a sign can you show yourself can you do something you can also, you should be able to see them through this screen as well. It's not like it's wouldn't show up here. 
So I actually took a photo of the dot itself right there, and it showed up as well. And I saw another one here, so let's take another... Hmm. No, that one didn't count. Maybe because it's under the bed? Huh. I saw a dot right there. It came from this... Hmm. Not entirely sure how to take the photos. Doesn't seem like... Because the device is in this one. But they aren't counting, so I'm not thinking that it's from the device itself. I'm thinking it's probably something to do with the dots, taking photos of the, uh, of the, of like, where the dots runs to or from, I'm thinking. That's an EMF 5 from dots. Interesting. That one started right there. I'm gonna take a photo of back there, and uh, they count. So I think it might be where the dots starts. That's my prediction right now, but I, like, I wouldn't recommend taking dots photos. I would only recommend taking photos of things that you very clear. Like, let's say it throws this and then take a photo of where it was before it threw the thing. Oh, double dots again. Let's take a photo. Is that going to count? Yep. Um, another one from that came from right over here, I think. So let's take a photo from back there. No, I didn't quite get that one. But yeah, seem, it seems that you can also take a photo. It can throw it. Does that give interaction? Probably. Yeah, EMA 5 from throwing the dots projector. Really cool. So yeah, that is pretty much all I can think of testing uh, with the dots. I, yeah, really cool thing. I'm gonna go see the stats now and I hope you enjoyed it. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it. But let's see the stats and get out of here. We got an Oni. One more dot to round it off. Come on. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Boom. Oni. 155 interactions. Which, that makes me think that dots do in fact give interactions on the statistics as well. And they also give an interaction photo. So that does kind of make sense. So yeah. Very interesting. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs>